turtle man that when you need him. Are you chasing him? You ready, Lottie? Yep, I got my car to do. You gonna try to shoot one? Yeah. Taking old uh, Abe out for a little run. Vern, my little Jip that we've been training, she's in, she came in heat, so we're not taking her. We're just gonna take the old dog and go for a short walk, see if we can't round up squirrel. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah. Well, Abe's in here treed on his first tree and we're making our way into him. We're gonna see how he does. He don't sound like he's real confident in this tree. I'm, I'm thinking it might be a den, but we'll see when we get to him. He's in a pecan grove here. sure he's treeing I don't know if you can see it or not there's a coon right there in the very top of that snag that dead tree and uh, that's what he's treeing on I don't know if we're gonna I might try to squall him out of there and see if he'll come on down and see what happens all right well he's gonna try to shoot this coon in the top of this snag and see if we can get him to come on out of there remember how I showed you now Got him, uh, shot the coon out to him. We're gonna cut him loose again and see what he'll do. The cool thing about a uh, cur dog is we'll just cut him loose right here at the tree and we'll see if he'll go tree another one. Come on, Abe. This little strip of timber that we're hunting is just a little creek and it's probably on like three or four acres. It's real small. And uh, he's treed again in there, so. We're gonna go in. Hopefully he's got a squirrel this time. Not another coon den. But uh, we hadn't gone very far. We've been out here, what, how long have we been out here? 15 minutes. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. This is our second tree, so. He's doing pretty good. We'll see, see what he's got. Hopefully he's got squirrel this time. 
Come on, bub. Are we walking too fast for you? Yeah. All right. Come on, I'll hold your hand. What do you think Abe's got this time? Coon. Another coon. You think he's got another coon? What do you think he's got, Bubba? Um, coon. Coon? Yeah. I hope you don't. I hope he's got a squirrel. But uh, that little coon that we shot out a while ago, I couldn't really tell how big he was in that den. And after we shot him out, he was pretty small. So I decided to, I think we're going to turn this video into a uh, raccoon catch, clean, and cook. Um, that little coon was a little bit, a little young sow coon. Um, it ought to be, if ever a coon was very good eating, that one ought to be about as good as they get. So uh, we're going to try it. So y'all stay tuned and. We'll turn this into a uh, catch, clean, and cook. All right, guys, so uh, we went for a little short hunt this evening. We got a little coon and uh, Vernon treated a squirrel for us too. So uh, after we uh, turned Abe loose there, he treated den tree after he treated this coon and then we decided to go back and uh, cut Vernon loose. She's in heat, so we can't hunt them together. So I figured I'd hunt her by herself. And she went in there and treated us a squirrel by herself. So we got a coon and a squirrel. I'm gonna skin both of them, but we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on this little coon that we caught. Uh, I don't want him to go to waste and he's too small. His uh, hide's not gonna be worth nothing. So we're gonna cook him up and eat him and uh, let you guys know how he tastes. And uh, this isn't gonna be a a uh, coon how-to skinning video. I'm just going to kind of do it fast and y'all can watch. Uh, if you want to see a how-to video, then uh, let me know in the comments and we'll do a, we'll a how-to video. But I'm pretty much just going to skin this guy and get it on film and then we're going to, I'm going to cut him up and uh, we'll do a uh, cooking video too. So y'all uh, stay tuned. And we got Lottie on the on the camera here, she's filming for me. Yeah. We had a good little hunt. We wasn't out there, but maybe an hour and got a coon and got a uh, squirrel right fast. So, the way the world's going today, we may end up uh, <laughs> eating these dudes for real one of these days. You never know. I hope not. Well, I say that and I ain't even tried it yet. It may be really good. If you've ever uh, ate a coon before, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so uh, we made it into the uh, kitchen, and I got these guys cleaned up, and they really don't look bad. I mean, there's our little squirrel. Up. That's not what the video is about. But I got two front quarters here, a hind quarter. Um, I only had one hind quarter because the other one was shot up pretty good. But uh, the front quarters don't look bad. They look like little chicken quarters. I got two back straps. So uh, I'm going to throw these all in this bowl. And uh, we're going to salt brine them for a couple days until uh, I get a chance to cook them up. And uh, I'm just going to put water in there and, uh, and quite a bit of salt. And, uh, and then we're going to slow cook them and see what they taste like. So I'll get back with you uh, in a couple days and uh, we will cook them up and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got, it's been, uh, it's actually been about four or five days probably. And uh, we've got our raccoon meat out of the salt brine. 
and I'm gonna season them up and put them in the crock pot and we're gonna slow cook them for a little bit. So uh, this experiment, I wanna really know if it tastes good or not. You know, you, sometimes you can take meat that's not very good and you can wrap it in bacon or, or marinate it for 24 hours or there's all kinds of stuff, you know, ways that you can take meat that's not really that great and make it taste better. But I wanna do this very simple and basic just to see if it actually take any, you know, see if it tastes good or not. So I'm just gonna put salt, pepper, and garlic on it and slow cook it until I can get the bones out of it. And uh, then I'm gonna do a taste test, see what it tastes taste like just with salt, pepper, and garlic. And then I'm probably gonna add some taco seasoning and we're gonna make some raccoon meat tacos. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just using kosher salt. I'm gonna put a pretty heavy dose of salt on it. And then this is a uh, just coarse ground black pepper. We're essentially kind of making like a rub on them. We're putting them on really heavy. You know, if you remember, this is the two front quarters, the hind quarter, and the back straps. And then we've got uh, minced garlic. Pretty heavy chunks on it too, or flakes. All right, then I'm gonna flip them all over. And do the same thing again. All right, that's about as simple as it gets. I'm gonna add them to the crock pot. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, water to it and about a cup of water. Just enough to fill the bottom of the, you know, I didn't put all of it in there. Probably about three quarter cup of water. Come on here and show them all So that's it. We got about three, just enough water to fill the bottom of the pot. There's nothing else in there, just the salt, pepper, and garlic and the raccoon meat. We're gonna put the lid on it and slow cook it until we can remove all the bones. So stay tuned. We'll be back with you and it's probably gonna take a couple hours, so. All right, so it's been about three hours and our uh, raccoon meat's coming off the bone. So we're gonna pick the bones out of it and then we're gonna give it a, a little taste test before we add the taco seasoning and get it ready for some tacos. So we'll bring it in here and let's show you what it looks like. And I already scraped a, it's pulling apart pretty easy. Looks pretty good. So we'll probably fast forward this part and of me picking out all the bones and get you to the, to the taste uh, part. But you can see it's gonna, it's gonna come off the bone pretty easy. And there's not a whole lot of, little bitty bones in it it's pretty good sized bones you know it's about like about like a chicken leg or something so i'll get all the bones out of it and then we'll get you back on the taste test stay tuned all right so we got all the bones picked out of there and this is the little bit of the meat that we're left over bring in there close i mean it's kind of a darker meat um maybe like the dark meat on chicken or like a wild it's kind of like wild rabbit or squirrel um, it's not a white meat, but it's not dark like liver or, or dove or duck or nothing like that. It's kind of like an in-between meat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And then uh, we're going to put it back in the crock pot, add some taco seasoning to it, and let it simmer for a little while and have some tacos. So, you want to try it, Lottie? Good. Is it good? It's 
it tastes like? Chicken. <laughs> like chicken? It don't taste like chicken. But it don't taste gamey at all. It's not bad. You wanna try it, Mom? Nope. <laughs> she says, no way. She ain't trying no raccoon meat. That's surprisingly really good, I think. And that's about as basic as it gets. Salt, pepper, and garlic in the slow cooker. Don't get your hair in it. It's not greasy. Pretty good, isn't it? You wanna try it, Bubba? You don't, but you don't wanna try it? No? Fine. Oh, fine, you do wanna try it? Okay. Let's get you a bite here. Let me find you a little bitty bite. Not that kind. Here, try it. Look at Mama. You don't like it? You don't like anything. Yeah, I like chicken nuggets. You like chicken nuggets? <laughs> But you don't like raccoon meat? <laughs> All right, well, I am uh, really surprised. I'd say um, I'd eat it again. I don't think it's bad at all. A lot of you obviously don't think it's bad either. She keeps eating it. So uh, I'm gonna drain some of these drippings out of this crock pot, throw them back in there, maybe add just a little bit of water and throw the taco seasoning in. We're gonna let it simmer probably for another hour or so, and then we're gonna try some taco meat. You're gonna eat it all? <laughs> all right guys, stay tuned. I'll show it to you when we get the taco seasoning in it. I got it back in the crock pot. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water in there just to give it some little, some moisture because I don't want it to draw out. Let's go ahead and rest in there. There was about half of that little bitty. That was from my school. I'm just gonna put a little bit of taco seasoning on it. About like that, it's probably half of that half of that deal. It smells good. Ooh, it does. It does? Alright yeah, guys, so it's the moment of truth. We're all finished up. Come in here and show them a look at this, this meat. I took the lid off of it after about an hour. Let it, uh, let most of the moisture kind of cook out of it where it's dried up a little bit. Perfect little taco meat there. I fried up some uh, corn tortillas. Got a little crunch to them. The reason I tried it first before we did all this to it, because I know this is going to be good. It don't matter what kind of meat you use. I've, I've cooked, uh, made tacos this way several times with several different meats, and they always turn out good. But this will be the first time using raccoon. We got all the fixings here. We got a little guacamole sauce, salsa, some uh, paste picante sauce, some of our homemade uh, candy, cowboy candies. What all you want? You want guacamole sauce? Guacamole sauce on there. Pecani sauce. Pecani sauce. Got some cheese. No? That's all you want? Mm. Here's, I'm gonna put all the fixings on mine. this again, I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> I ain't gonna make it every day, but I'm definitely not gonna throw very many of them out. It's pretty good eating. And the good thing is, if times get hard, we know we got a dog that'll tree one, and we know if they taste too bad, we won't starve, so. Not too dark. Not too dark. <laughs>
Guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, guys, y'all stay after them. And we'll see you on the next video.